I thought the person who came off worst in the book, believe it or not, even a little bit worse than Biden was Bernie Sanders. Uh, we all knew that Bernie was the only socialist in America with three homes, <laughs> uh, one that is lakefront. Um, but it looks like a series of, I mean, it's just the corruption is he's dripping with it. It's not just that he is inauthentic to be a socialist that's worth at least $15 million with three homes. Um, but it seems like he's really been using legal loopholes to enrich himself. Um, one of the things that I th- was laughing at, Peter, because we were at a little book party for you yesterday and how there may be 50 or 100 books around. Uh, uh, Bernie's campaign used to buy gobs and gobs of Bernie's book. <laughs> right. So that was a... I'm, so so it's a so you donate to Bernie and then Bernie buys Bernie's books. That's right. And, and that's the pattern that he had his whole life. So let's start with uh, Bur- uh, Burlington College, right. uh, which seems like this seemed like a, a legit fraud to me. Talk to me about Burlington College. <laughs> yeah, Burlington College was this uh, was because it's now shut down was this, um, you know, sort of, uh, let's say hippie college uh, that um, had 200 students. Uh, and it mm-hmm. had, you know, financial troubles, it was kind of limping along. Uh, and they hired Jane Sanders, Bernie's wife, um, to uh, come on as president. And they're very explicit saying they brought on Jane because of who Bernie was and the yeah. connections that he has. So Jane becomes the president of the college. Um, she's being paid a very nice salary for a college uh, that size about 180 200,000 dollars a year yeah. um, and she has ambitious plans she wants to expand the college so she takes on uh, these loans to uh, buy additional property and buildings so she can expand the college now the problem is on these bank loans uh, that she applied the application she claimed several individuals had committed to making million dollar or more contributions um, to the college uh, and that was essentially what she was saying where the money was going to come for from the loans um, the problem is uh, after the fact after the college collapsed people went back and asked those individuals they said i never pledged that money I never pledged that money. So this spawned the FBI investigation to look at, was she engaged in uh, bank fraud by, yeah. by deceiving the bankers? But the problem is even more direct in the sense that they take on this debt. They're having financial difficulties. They're limping along. They're having cash flow problems. What's going on while that happens? Well, Jane, the, the, the budget of the college is like $3 million a year. Jane starts funneling mother to, uh, money to uh, a woodworking school that just <laughs> happens to be run. It's an unaccredited woodworking school that just happens to be run by her daughter. And she sends half a million dollars to this to this entity, kind of like a sixth of the budget. Maybe yeah, while, while 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 her college is is having these financial Unaccredited difficulties. Woodworking school. This isn't yes. a joke. Not yes. a joke. Yeah, Joe Biden would say. Yeah, and it fits the pattern. I mean, we we see it this all the, the time. Okay. Family members get hired, and so so. But let's talk about the maybe the biggest reveal in the Sanders section, which is the media buying uh, and Bernie finding a loophole to uh, really. It appears make himself incredibly wealthy and we don't even know how wealthy talk to us about this yeah so one of the dirty secrets in washington dc is if you're running for office um and you do media buys if if you know alex if you ran for the senate and you said to me peter i want you to buy a million dollars in television ads i as your media buyer it would show up on the fec filing that you gave a million dollars to my company but the standard industry standard is i'm entitled to 15 percent of that as a commission for myself But that never shows up. Well, Bernie apparently figured this out because uh, Jane, his wife, became his media buyer for his congressional campaigns. Uh, so we don't know exactly how much money she got, but we believe it was probably on the magnitude of $150,000. Mm. But the big money came, the big money came when he ran for president in 2016. And there's a lot of mystery here, uh, but I think a lot of reason to be concerned. Because this time, he's running for president, he's got all this money, he's going to spend $83 million on media buys. 15%, that's about uh, a $12 million uh, commission. Okay, so where did the $12 million go? Do we know? Do we know who got it? <laughs> we do not, but we have some clues. Here's the troubling part. So that $83 million goes through a company called Old Town Media. Yeah. Okay, great, Old Town Media. Well, Old Town Media doesn't have a website, 
doesn't really have other clients at this time. Oh. And it's registered, the LLC, Old Town Media, is registered to this private residential home in suburban Virginia. That's typical, right? Yeah, exactly. And then you find out who actually owns the company. It's two old friends of Jane Sanders. What? Yes. No, yes. not Jane Sanders again. <laughs> she's back. It's a, So she's a big character in this. And so so we assume that the the Sanderses are basically enriching the Sanderses. And this is the pattern you, do, you yeah. document. With Sanders buying his own books, uh, Sanders uh, cutting Sanders' checks from Sanders' businesses. You document a lot of times where he'll set up a nonprofit and then it'll go bust very quickly. This is another way to kind of send yourself more money. That's exactly right. He does this regularly, and when he sets up nonprofits, um, he usually puts a family member in charge, and yes. they're, the, they're the highest paid family member. and uh, The highest paid person in yeah, the non- it, it, Right. Exactly. Yeah. And, and you know, on the media buying issue, after he loses in 2016, he sets up this 501c4 kind of uh, activist group called Our Revolution. Um, and, uh, you know, they're all these young idealists who love yes. Bernie, who are all very excited, they want to be involved. And then they find out that that the plan is to take the money the group is raising and do what? Do media buys. Right. And half a dozen of them end up quitting because they say, we're not here to do media buys. We thought this was actually about grassroots work. Yes. And and that's not, that's not what it is. He's not. And it, the biggest evidence, you note that he's, since he's been a senator, he's written more books than he's passed significant pieces of legislation. And because he's a socialist, I'm sure none of the books have a copyright. I'm sure he just lets them out. They're, they're just available for anyone who wants to use it. Right. Yeah. No, he he uh, he takes the profits. Um, the only person that's written as many books as him in the Senate was the late John McCain. Uh, and McCain, you could argue, well, you know, he had some war stories to tell, obviously. Sure. And uh, a big opinion of himself. Yes, he had a big opinion of himself. And he did donate some of those proceeds to charity. charity. Yes. Bernie does not do that. The biggest charity in Bernie's wow. life is Bernie. Yeah, that's exactly right. See, I got to tell you, and this is just, we're just scratching the surface on Bernie. And it's a, uh, his army of small donors, Peter, you noted that sometimes the small donors is the same person 50 times. Right. Who's who's worth, you know, half a billion dollars or something. And right. The small donors. <laughs> okay. yeah, you just donate 50 times, 50 different ways. Right. And it counts. It's just uh, it, it, it mind blowing stuff. He, uh, of course, hates war, but wanted fighter planes stationed at Burlington International Airport because it's. You know benefits the 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 city and benefits jobs um, using taxpayer money to benefit his donors businesses over and over again his can't be about half a million dollars worth of his own book i mean come on mm-hmm. how could you it's, i think it's i need so to start obvious a, i need so, to i need to start a campaign that's Alex, right. so and i can buy, buy my own, own book. book yeah it's i'm so impressed the sanders chapter is just my it's actually that was my favorite read because it oh, is good. what a character a bernie is yeah <laughs> 